insurers are looking to their purpose to help guide them in the new reality. In KPMG's global annual insurance Sur CEO survey, we found some interesting findings around purpose. For example, three quarters of insurance CEOs said that their purpose provided a clear framework for effective and efficient decision making. 82% said that they felt that their purpose really helped them with better understanding their stakeholder needs. And over half of them felt that their purpose really helped them with stakeholder responses and communications. Now insurance has always been a sector where purpose is, is at its heart. It's a noble sector. Um, it's all about protecting people, businesses, and communities uh, in their time of need. But purpose is so much more than just a business imperative. It's the reason that a company exists. It's the guiding light for, for the decision making that companies take. We've seen some great actions happen during this global pandemic in the insurance industry. For example, one insurer in Asia had been investing in developing a platform and they used that platform to make it available widely to connect healthcare providers and uh, customers, especially in remote locations. Many health insurers, for example, uh, gave COVID testing for free or even some reduced cost sharing around COVID treatments. Auto insurers we saw in some countries give premium rebates or premium holidays because claims were so much lower, people weren't using their cars. And then both PNC and commercial writers started to look at their claims processing and look for more digital uh, solutions to help enable faster and efficient claims processing. So I've had the great opportunity to speak to leading insurance CEOs about how they're actually activating purpose. And I have five tips to share with you today. The first is about communications. It's all about clarity and frequency of communications as well as a wide variety of communication methods to be used. The second is training your leaders. Tone at the top may be right, but if tone in the middle isn't right, then you don't penetrate it throughout your whole organization. And so it's critical for managers on down that they really understand the importance of purpose. Third is about listening, listening to your employees and making sure that you react to that feedback as you hear it. Fourth is calling out bad behavior. You need to create a safe environment to really call out the bad behavior when it's not consistent with the purpose of the organization. And last, but certainly not least, it's about leading by example uh, in every communication, uh, written, oral communications, large groups, small groups, it's critical to lead by example. Look, there's no silver, silver bullet when it comes to activating one's purpose but it starts with making sure your employees and the managers really understand the purpose and then making sure that the decisions are being made in line with that purpose and from that you can really add value to your organization.